So welcome to our AI living room. So what I have behind us is our W8 new 2018 wallpaper TV. So you guys probably are familiar from our wallpaper TV last year. One of the cool things that we actually have now added to our TVs is this right here. So Google Assistant is built into not only our wallpaper TVs, we've extended it all the way down to all of our WebOS TVs. So if it's got WebOS in 2018, you better believe it's got Google Assistant also built in. So we're really gonna be able to take this to all kinds of different customers with a variety of different price points. They're gonna be able to all have that Google Assistant built into their actual television. So now we are in 2018, we're now in the connected home type of era, right? We got connected lights, we've got air conditioners that aren't pumping enough cold air, and we also have air purifiers, vacuum cleaners, there's so many different devices that now are connected, and now your TV is gonna be something that it can not only connect to it, but it really can take control and actually run your house the way you want it to. It's also gonna make things a lot easier to enjoy on the TV screen, and I'm gonna show you kind of how that works here in just a second. But does anybody know what you're supposed to say to wake up with a Google Assistant? It's like the wake up command. Does anybody know? Hey Google, okay Google, right? So that we've actually went one step further and actually eliminated needing to use that phrase. You can actually just press and hold that actual volume or the actual microphone here and you're able to actually have that go directly to whatever command you just said. So no longer do I have to say, okay Google, show me the weather. It's gonna be able to go direct to whatever I say as long as I'm pressing and holding that. So I'll give you guys just a quick demonstration. First I'm gonna do, just go ahead and brighten the lights up. Turn light brightness to 100%. As you can see on the screen here, it read exactly kind of what you had said into the microphone. It also lets you know what's actually taking control to help you out there. So Google Assistant's the one that's doing it. Let's say you don't like green, I'm kind of partial to red myself. So we can switch the color. Switch light color to red. And just like that, we're able to do that. So no need for me to go find a light switch, my cell phone. I'm already sitting down watching TV. Why not just do the command that I want and enjoy what I'm watching on TV, right? So besides Google Assistant, there are a couple cool things that LG's also put into the TV to make your experience even better. One of those is let's say you want to just switch an input. Right now we were just watching some slides go through. Let's say you want to switch to DirecTV and watch some movies. Switch to DirecTV. So the TV is smart enough to know which HDMI input I want it to actually switch to, so I don't have to find that through the actual input. Automatically went to there, put it on the right settings, automatically looks exactly the way you're supposed to have it on there because it's in HDR, so it just does that stuff without you having to tell it. But let's say I don't want to watch it in this mode, maybe I want to watch it with, on full brightness. Instead of me normally having to go settings, find my picture mode, and then click on the actual vivid setting, I can just say, change picture mode to vivid. Change picture mode, change picture mode to vivid. Change picture mode to vivid. There we go. So I just it switched that automatically for me so I didn't have to do that. The other cool thing I like too is that sometimes you not want to do just one thing, you want to have it do two things. So in this particular mode, maybe I want to have cinema mode picture and I also want to have cinema sound at the same time. Normally that's a two-step process. Like I was showing you earlier, I have to click picture mode setting and I have to actually go to the sound mode at the same time. With this I can just simply say cinema mode and you're going to see down here on the bottom it's actually going to tell me I adjusted both picture and sound all on one command. One less step that I have to do. Just super quick, super easy to be able to do that. Now how many people use Netflix? Super popular, right? One of the most popular streaming services out there. If you have a specific show you want to watch and you don't want to have to go through the commands of pull up Netflix, find the application, whatever HDMI input you're on, then you got to search for what type of content, that can take a little bit of extra time. So instead you can just say play Moana on Netflix. And this is smart enough to know, go to Netflix, find the show you want to watch, play it. It even picks up where you left off automatically too. So there's so many different types of ways that this is saving you time 
to not having to find that input. And when you know you get a new TV, you're doing one of two things. You're either looking through the manual, trying to learn how to run it, right? Or you're trying to learn a new remote. So the only button you need to know is as long as you have pressed and hold that button down and voice and tell your TV what you want it to do, you're gonna be able to do so many more things with the television as the forefront of your actual home. So very cool on how that does that. Now one thing I wanna tell you about too with what Google also has helped us out with, Google Photos is a huge deal right now, but also you have people that want to actually do like your sports scores. Last night there was a big game. If you want to know like what the sports score of the game was last night, you can just simply ask it. What was the score of the Georgia Bulldog game? And there you go. I apologize if you're a Georgia fan. <laughs> But very cool on how that actually is able to pull that information right into the actual TV and you can see that right on the screen itself. So normally this is something you would maybe see in only like the high-end products, but we're bringing that all the way through our whole 2018 lineup on there. So any questions at all on, on some of that stuff? Can you control what? I'm sorry. Control. Yes. Yeah. yeah you so play. so instead of, instead of it, you automatically, you could just have it sit there, and you'd have to play. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah. The other really nice thing too. I mean, I don't have to have two remotes. I'm gonna have Direct TV remote. I can just have one remote. Right. I don't have to have a basket of remotes to kind of do what I need to do. But um, that's all available right through here. The other nice thing too that you have with this particular um, with TV, if you have Google Assistant built in, it also is going to support our Alexa. So if you have Alexa like speakers or you have things that are supported by Alexa on there, you're not going to have to worry about is it compatible with your LG TV. All it is is an application you would download in the TV through our WebOS. So it would show up like through here and then you'd be able to connect to those devices as well. So for consumers, this is going to be a big deal because if you're buying a new TV, you want it to be compatible with your other products. You don't want it to be only working with proprietary products on there. It's going to have a wide range that it supports. Can we store some like, other real content other mm -hmm. So like if you wanted Hulu, we don't, we're not logged into any other accounts on there, but you would be able to say go to Hulu or go whatever, whatever program you go on there. The other thing you can do too is it, it will it automatically, because of the AI that's in there, start to learn habits. So for instance, if I watch lots of sports, the moment I turn the TV on the next day, it'll have something for me because it knows that that's something I like to watch. Or if I um, watch a lot of kids shows because I have a two year old at home, it will start to recommend things based on what I watch. So it gets smarter and starts to learn more about you as you use it more. So yeah. What is the red, red pointer? The little pointer? Yeah. Was I, was I making you dizzy? <laughs> So yes, this is our Magic Motion Remote. So most people, when they're on a smart feature like this right here, for instance, Netflix, and you're trying to search through it, a lot of remotes on the market, you'll have to go up, down, left, right. But this is a remote that actually allows you to use your hand, almost like a mouse pointer. And because it's RF, I can be anywhere in the room and I can get you that same picture. So I can be way over here and I'm still controlling that. It doesn't matter that there's people in front of me, I'm still getting that great picture. And I'm still able to connect to it pretty easily. I'm sorry? What about integration with the cloud? Yeah, Google. Yeah, so like for instance, let's say I've got, um, let's say I want to show like pictures that I have on my Google Photos. Like I was showing uh, earlier on there, if I want to see Google Photos from like a Grand Canyon, you can say, show me my Grand Canyon photos. It searches through the catalog of the Google account and finds ones that are pictures of the Grand Canyon. So you don't have to actually look through your whole entire catalog. You can click on the catalog photo that you specifically searched for and then pull that up. So that way you have that information right on the actual TV screen. You don't have to grab your phone to do it either. I mean, it's going to look a lot better on a 70 inch TV than a, a 5 inch phone, right? Can you have a frame on it like I saw with one of the TVs out there? Frames? Yeah, so that was in our, our, our gallery mode. So, gallery mode? Gallery. Gallery. So there's a couple of ones I got. This is actually a motion photo, so it almost gives you like to where you're in that actual window looking out. There's a couple of them where it's more of an actual static photo, so if you wanted to look at these, it almost looks like it's a frame. But you can personalize this and add your own photos as well.
I'm not sure what those ones are, I believe. Honestly, I don't. But it does support anything that supports Google Assistant will work with that. Do you need additional hardware to voice activate and control the light with this? No. So I get the as long as long as, it, as, long as uh, Google supports that particular um, yes. Yeah. Okay, not uh, nothing to do with Alexa, as you said. So it works on both Alexa. Oh, you can, yeah. So if it or Alexa, ah, correct? Either one of those. It works on both. Correct. Yep. Can it work both. on both together? No, not together.